Friday, October the 11th. Wouldn't you know it, we have tempo back squats to do today, but maybe in a different uh, different volume, I guess is the best way to say it. So we, we're going to do exactly what we did on Wednesday. We've got four sets of three to do today. Uh, and our, our guide post for you today is to think of the heaviest double you've hit on these tempo back squats and warm up to 80 to 80 th- uh, to 85 percent of that heaviest double now there's always the caveat with tempo tempo affects everybody differently because tension which is what we're doing with the tempo affects everybody differently so 80 to 85 percent might work for some but not for others so you absolutely on days like this have to let feel dictate load you'll warm up to that loading and based on how it feels while you're warming up decide is this too heavy I'm not really hoping anybody says no. It's too light, right? I'd rather you get if it's if you get to 85% and it feels good, then stick with it. Trust the process on that one. Outside of that, what do we have wad wise today? So we're gonna move the boxes out of the way again. Uh, we're gonna open up the floor so that we can lunge again. Uh, really enjoy doing these kinds of workouts, and I particularly love the, the format of today's workout because while it does have these sort of intermittent lunge opportunities, overhead walking lunges, it is in the context of what amounts to essentially a chipper. So the chipper is 30 pull-ups, 30 sit-ups, 20 pull-ups, 20 sit-ups. Now sit-ups, throw them out the window, right? Everybody here, everybody watching this, everybody who comes to class can do 30 or 20 sit-ups unbroken. They may not be fast, like in my case, but the 50 pull-ups, the 30, the set of 30 and the set of 20, the reason we call this a chipper is because you have to do all 30 before you move on to anything else. You have to do all 20 before you move on to anything else. And for us, you know, even though I think 50 is a not huge volume of pull-ups, a set of 30 is amongst the higher rep counts that we've ever asked you to do in the the last several months, I'll say, since our Fran cycle all at once. So different, you know, different strokes for different folks on that one, right? I I can think of a few people who are going to attempt to do all 30 pull-ups unbroken. I didn't, but some of you guys can, I'll bet. I know I'm only talking to a handful. Most likely what we'd love to see is like people break out big sets knowing you got to break it up. Like I think I did 20 and 10 on the set of 30. Um, breaking it up two, one or two times would be awesome. <clears throat> but also people who are new to the kip and pull up or who you know, love to attack a weakness, sets of five, sets of four, I don't know, sets of singles, that's fine. I, we, won't, we won't try to dictate how you get the pull ups done today. Um, we just do have a time cap in mind where, you know, it's, it's some people could get capped today, similarly to Wednesday. Some people did get capped on Wednesday and we want to light a fire under those people. We want to either light a fire under people who can finish and just sometimes use the, 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 uh, the uh, cap as a crutch, or we want to force people into modifying more effectively uh and that would get you in under the cap as well and now modifying today doesn't mean hey just don't do pull-ups immediately jump to a band sometimes we have to be we have to be um humble enough to say i want to do pull-ups today but that's 50s too many and that's it'll take me a really long time i always love the idea of i'm going to do some pull-ups today and when I need to, I will supplement my chin over bar pull ups with a band or with ring rows or with jumping pull ups, you know, when I run out of steam. I love that, but I don't often see it. All right, so what is the wad in general? It's, it's like I said, it is, it is those things 30, 30, 20, 20, but always separated by a 20 meter overhead single arm walking lunge. So the wad begins and ends, book ended by those, two, those lunges. That's just an up the floor and back on the floor. So 10 meters with one arm, 10 meters back with the other arm. But every time you finish a part of that chipper, you then have to go back and do the lunge again. So I think you end up doing the lunges six times. I'm not looking at it. I should be. Um, The thing about the lunge, I just said, we're going to break up the work evenly across arms, right? But 
I won't say or dictate how you do that. Some people like to try to go, I'm going to do all right arm this round and then all left arm next round. Some people instead on the other end of the spectrum will go, I want to switch every five meters. I don't see that as commonly, but just know it's available to you, especially if it keeps you moving. What we don't want and hardly want to see today is if you get to you know finish your 10 meters or it's time to switch and use that switch time to really sort of like hang out or rest for a while. We're trying to get those 20 meter lunge increments done pretty quickly. Um, so good luck with that. So again, this workout is lunge, 30 pull-ups, lunge, 30 sit-ups, lunge, 20 pull-ups, lunge, 20 sit-ups, end on a lunge and on the 20 meters of lunch. It took me exactly nine minutes. I know, a lot of times I'll collect people's scores and they'll say, nine flat, and I'll be like, how did that, like the, uh, the odds of that happening are so low? But today, nine on the dot for me, which means the cap is set at exactly seven more minutes than it took me, which I think is plenty fair. So, um, you know, we'll, maybe we'll call it a soft cap if depending on the time left in class today, but generally speaking, you know, we don't want to, we, we want to enforce the cap for good reasons. All right. Have a good one.